Hi friends, today I am partnering with Tipsy with Happy Hour Set. We all deserve happy hour after a long and hectic day with sake and foods that you can prepare quickly and ahead of time. The Happy Hour Set comes with two different flavor profiles that makes you happy. And I will give you a special discount for you to try the special sake. You will find the tasting card that provides all the information about sake and tipsy newsletter, which is packed with deep dive information for sake lovers. Tipsy is the largest subscription service for Japanese sake, and they are providing not only sake, but also Japanese culture and experiences around the sake. First off, let me try Hakkai san. This sake is from Uonuma region of Niigata Prefecture. It is located foot of the Hakkai Mountains, and the cold and clean water grows the best quality rice and brews the best quality sake. It has a dry and light and clean taste and finished with refreshing aftertaste. The next one is Choryo Yoshino Sugi no Tarazake, and this sake is from Nara Prefecture where I live. And I feel I am meeting my uncle from this classic label. Yoshino Sugi is a type of Japanese cedar and it is well known all over Japan for its high quality. The sake is stored in a cedar barrel to give it a nice woody aroma. The category is Futsushu, that means daily sake, and that should be required the high quality. First, you are going to feel sweet umami and finish with a spicy and smoky aroma. It's a little bit too strong for me, but this type of sake, I love to have at the warm temperature. The temperature changes its mouthfeel, mild and round, and it goes down so smooth with a comfortable aroma. I would say this is the best daily sake. For the food pairing, I made broccoli and ramen egg salad for Hakkai-san. The rich egg yolk and dry and light sake complement each other. And I made tofu and chicken nugget for Yoshinosugi no Taruzake. For this type of sake, I want a little bit richer food, but not too rich, so I made a fluffy and lighter version of deep fried finger food. Make ahead and store in the freezer, and you can have it anytime you want. Bring a pot of water to a boil, put in large eggs at room temperature, and cook for 7 minutes sharp. No more than 7 minutes. And cover with icy cold water to stop cooking. When it chills, carefully peel off the shell because it is so soft. Put them in a ziplock bag and marinate it with a teriyaki sauce. You can store them for the next 3 to 4 days. And of course, you can use it for the ramen noodle topping. Cut broccoli into chunks and wash well and transfer to a frying pan. Sprinkle a pinch of salt and 2 tablespoons of water. Cover and cook on medium heat for 3 to 4 minutes. Drain and let it cool. Now we are making Japanese sesame dressing. Grind toasted white sesame seeds and mix 2 tablespoons of white sesame seed and pinch of sugar. 1 tablespoon of soy sauce and 1 teaspoon of yuzu juice or lemon juice or rice vinegar and 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil. Whisk well and toast the cooked broccoli. And add ramen egg and break it into chunks with your hand. Transfer to a serving dish. It goes so well with Hakkai-san. If you make a head of ramen egg and boiled broccoli, 
healthy and nutritious food are ready in a minute. And I found a great combination the other day, the chocolate cake and the dried fruit and cream cheese. Dried fruit and cream cheese and nuts is a classic combination for the wine and it goes so well with Hakkai-san kind of dry and light and clean taste of sake. I love this combination. And next, I'm going to make tofu chicken nugget. Cook tofu in a microwave until hot to touch. Place it on a bamboo tray or strainer and place a weight and leave it until it comes to room temperature to remove excess water. Mix ground chicken and tofu, half a teaspoon of salt, pepper, one tablespoon of potato starch or cornstarch, and mayonnaise. Mix until well combined. The mayonnaise bind everything together. Pour vegetable oil for frying into a frying pan, one centimeter from the bottom. You don't need a lot of oil for this recipe and drop the tofu nugget shaping in. It looks like a nugget by using the two spoons. Deep fry until golden brown and it's going to take four to five minutes. It looks so nice. And you can store it in a refrigerator for a couple of days or freeze it for a month. For the dipping sauce, mix 1 teaspoon of miso of your choice and 2 tablespoons of mayonnaise. And simply ketchup. And there you have it. You can have it with a room temperature sake or a sip of warm temperature sake. Here's how I do it. Transfer a sake in a ceramic sake pitcher and microwave it for 30 seconds at 800 Watt. You can add more cooking time to the temperature to your liking. I like the lukewarm almost the same as the body temperature for this taruzake. It goes so well together with the chicken nugget. I hope you like today's episode to enjoy the happy hour with Japanese sake. And let me know your experience with your sake. And you can find the link in the description box and use the code BAMBOO23 to get a special discount. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap the bell icon to turn on the notification not to miss any of my new videos. Follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. And go to my website for more information and you can find pretty much everything that I'm using in my video on my Amazon the store. And join my happy eating group to share your food with me. Thanks again and I will see you soon. Bye!